Hi guys, I hope you're having a fabulous morning. Uh, I'm here still in Philadelphia uh, and just been culling through some of these DNC leaked emails and I thought I'd share with you one that I came across last night um, that really illustrates at the very least the amount of legal bribery and political corruption that goes on uh, with within the major two parties in this country, and it's obviously this this time it's with the DNC, um, the kind of legalized bribery and corruption that we've allowed. Um, and at the most, and what's probably the bigger story here, is the fact that uh, the money that was being uh, asked for and uh, asked for in terms of donations um, was basically interchangeable with the Hillary Victory Fund uh, and the DNC. So this particular exchange uh, occurred on uh, May 2nd, uh, just kind of, you know, May 2nd, 2016, between uh, Naomi Eberly, who's a major Democratic donor and uh, a patriotic millionaire, which is, we've actually done some coverage on them, uh, and Bob Glovsky, uh, who's a ch the vice chair of the Colony Group, which is a major wealth management institution in Boston. So she's soliciting donations from him for the DNC. So she starts off the email by asking about his kids and small talk, uh, and then basically says, I've been asked to contact you about your giving to the DNC. I thought I would email you rather than call and put you on the spot. I know that you were all in for Hillary. Thank goodness things are looking good there, finally, meaning like Bernie Sanders, we've pushed him out of the picture, even though this is from a DNC email, so... Uh, but the DNC is looking to pa uh, looking to pass uh, generous supporters like you for contributions now before there is the uh, before the convention. I know there is an argument for giving through the Hillary Victory Fund, but it is also important to give now if you want anything at the convention. So just open exchanging of 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 uh, access to the convention. If you do another DNC max out check now, before June 1, you qualify for a convention package. Ooh, it sounds like I'm calling Comcast and they're giving me some services for, for my cable box. Uh, and I'm expecting you want to be there. This has been my experience that the DNC can do more for donors that, than the campaign can at this point in the cycle for a first-term presidential candidate. So again, the primary isn't even over, but they are openly talking about... Uh, interchangeable favors that the DNC and the Hillary Victory Fund are participating in, let alone the problematic elements of trading money for access to the Democratic Convention. Um, so then he responds, uh, talking a little bit more about his family, then says, I want the best package, but in the scheme of everything, it's less important than Hillary becoming president. Happy to talk with you, but my inclination is to give to the Victory Fund. Also, I'm curious who asked you to reach out. They usually call me directly. In any event, let's talk either by phone or over lunch, as I always value your opinion. Meaning, why did you put this in fucking writing? <laughs> why didn't you call me directly? Um, he didn't seem happy about that. She responds, well, giving to the DNC only strengthen strengthens it for when she is the nominee and gets you into the convention. So already a massive presumption that she's going to be the nominee. Again, the primary isn't even over. The argument for giving through the Victory Fund is credit or access, like openly saying this is for access. If the campaign will give you more credit for giving through the Victory Fund and more access because you can attend a smaller event post-convention with that max out check, then you should wait. But going to the convention is also a part of being there and getting credit. Oy. So that's really the end of what I thought was really important in that email exchange. When I put this particular clip on, on YouTube, I will link to the uh, email, the WikiLeaks email, in the description box. But essentially, what bothers me most as someone who likes to focus a lot on the legalized corruption, the political corruption that we have, is the open exchange of bribes. And also the fact that, you know, to Bernie Sanders supporters, it's such a spit in the face because the primary was not over, but they are already saying, why bother giving to the Hillary Victory Fund? Just give to the DNC. It's the same thing. This guy was clearly a Hillary supporter. And the, the, this Naomi Eberly was basically saying, don't, don't 
bother giving to the Hillary Victory Fund. What we need here more as a Clinton surrogate organization, the DNC, um, is your money here because that's where it could do better. So once again, this uh, we're seeing more and more evidence um, and the evidence keeps piling up that uh, they were entirely unfair to Bernie Sanders um, and also it is disheartening to say the least um, that this is what our democracy has come to, exchanging uh, money for access to the DNC so you can hobnob with the politicians that you like and care about. Um, so again, uh, I'm going to be in Philly at least for the rest of today, and um, I hope that you guys have a great Wednesday. Um, I'm going to keep looking through these emails and seeing if I can find anything um, that's newsworthy, and I'm going to share it with you as much as possible. So have a great day, everybody.